Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me, MJ. Today we're going to be doing something different. We're not actually going to be uh, designing anything. We're going to be looking at how to manipulate bodies. So um, copy, move, rotate, that kind of thing. Um, and just some of the ways that it can help you when you are designing. So let's get started. So to get started on this one, we're just going to have a look at our brick here and we're going to make a copy of it. So if you right click on your brick, uh, this is just a body, it's not a component. We can go to this menu and move copy. Now if we have a look over here, we've got a couple of options. We've got face, components, bodies, sketch objects. So we know this is a body. If I'm wanting to move this, I can click on body. Now it's going to ask us to select the body. Now you can see once it's selected, we've got these arrows that you can use to free move. You could also click on this center button and move it wherever you want. It will move it across various axes. Um, and then we've got the rotate. So this will rotate it about the axis that you clicked on. And this can be done in either direction on the vertical or horizontal axis. Now if we look over here at the move type, we've got a couple of move types. We'll free move, translate, rotate, point to point, and point to position. What I'm going to do first of all is create a copy of this so that I have more than one. Um, so if I just go back in here, right click, move copy, I select my body, See there I've selected it and I'm going to create copy. Now when I move it, I'll just move it along this way, I will see that I've now got a second copy and we've got an additional body over there. So you'll see it's body 7 because I played around a bit with this after I designed the brick. Now we have two bodies of the same object. So that's the first step. Next we're going to look at a couple of the move techniques. So again, it's going to go into front view. We right click on here, move copy. If we are working with the body, we select body, then we select the object. Now remember, if you want to create a copy, you click that before you move it. Once I've moved it, it's no longer available. So I'm just going to cancel there, get our brick in the original position. I'm just going to right click on here again, go to move copy, and we're going to look at the various types of move. So we've got free move, you can click on the center, move it around, and you can, tr can translate it about those axes. Translate, it only gives us the option to move it uh, in these axes. But let me just change this to bodies. There we can see we're translating it on a specific axis. So unlike free move where it will move in 3D, this is only translating across these axes, the X, Y, and Z axis. Gonna cancel that. Go back into our front view. And now we will go back in there, select bodies, and we'll select this body. Rotate, all that does is give you the ability to rotate it. Uh, we select the axes. And then we are able to rotate our object around the selected axis. I'm just going to get that back to the position it was in. We could have just cancelled. And now we'll have a look at the point to point option. So in point to point, we are selecting, we've selected our body, select a point to point, we're going to select an origin point and the target point. So the origin point is the on the body that we want to move and the target point is on the body that is stationary. So if I select this as our origin point and our target point as this corner can see that the bodies move nicely together. I could deselect that and select, for instance, this corner. 
we'll see it adapts and moves it to the exact point. It's a little handy if, say, we want to line up 10 bricks or whatever the case is. We can see they're touching. There's no gap between them. That is quite a handy tool for the with the point-to-point -point option. I'm just going to move that back. And the last one we're going to look at is the point to position. So again, we go in, we select our body, and point to position, um, we would be selecting a point, and then we've got the X, Y, and Z axes, where we would manually type in where we want it to be. So if I had to change this to 50, we can see it's moved over, and in the Y axis, uh, let's say 10, we can see that shift and then in Z if I had to put in 100 it would be way out we just move it 10 that would be your point to position so if you look at the top right hand corner you can see your coordinates and um, you've got your Z axis which runs uh, vertically and your X axis which runs horizontally from the front plane if we go to the left plane we can see the Y axis which runs uh, then horizontally. So that point position allows you to move that object to a specific coordinate. I'm just going to move this back here. And then one last thing, if we move this body, I'm just going to go point to point, select that body, origin point, and target point we can see that it's nicely together. Select the bodies, create copy. So once I change the move type, it deselected create copy. So I go back to create copy, and there now we've got four bricks, and these bricks are able to be manipulated however you want. From these positions, you could create components with them or move them around and uh, change your model as you need. So that's just a quick rundown on moving and manipulating your bodies. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comments section and get in touch with me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com if you have any queries. Till next time, bye.